Hey, hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Akal Pachapati, and in this video, I will be creating a chat bot using Chat GPT plus Python. Okay, so chalo, let's get started. So, in order to do that, what I need to do, I need to have a, a API key because I'm gonna use a, 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 a open AI library for that. Okay, it's kind of you know, I'm using an API of open AI, and for in order to authenticate, I need a key. So for that, what I will do, I'm just going to this website, beta.openai.com, account API keys. And if I click on this option, then you can see uh, we have a button to generate a new secret key. So if I click on it, then it will give me one key. Okay, let me copy it and let me go back to my, let me go back to my uh, program. So here I will write API underscore key is equal to this key cool and i will import open ai library if you haven't installed it please install it like with the help of pip install uh pip install open ai name okay and then i will also import os library cool now what i'm gonna do is that i'm gonna i'm gonna add this into the environment so i will write here os dot environment open open ai key and here i will use api underscore key variable name to store the value cool now what i'm gonna do i'm gonna add this thing into the open open ai open ai uh, thing right so i will write open ai dot key api api key is equal to os dot environment and I will use the same variable cool now I'll create one uh, one variable let's say keep prompting is equal to to the initial value of this is two cool and here I'm gonna create one loop let's say while two and W should be small letter and not two i will use this variable name correct the default value i can say the initial value of keep prompting is two cool so it will go inside into this and it will ask for the message so what i'm gonna do is that i'm uh, create one more variable let's say prompt is equal to input and i will write some message like what's not what's what's your question and uh, type exit if done cool cool now i'll check if prompt if prompt is exist or not okay let me use a double equal to math equal to symbol and if it is then i'm gonna update the value of key prompting with false okay because i have to i have to stop the loop else what i'm gonna do i'm gonna use one i'm gonna write uh, one variable let's say response is equal to open ai dot classify not classify this completion dot create okay and here i'm gonna pass i have to pass some uh, some values like i have to pass here engine name or we can say a model name and then i will pass here the message what we are gonna pass it okay and then the third variable would be max tokens let's say i have I'll, I'll give here 200 the prompt the message uh, what i'm gonna ask with the chat gpt is you know is uh, this uh, prompt variable okay and for the engine i have to choose so i if, if i go to this uh, website beta.openai.com docs models then you can see we have different kind of models okay so if i use this chat gpt model and here you can see the latest 
next model is text davinci geo jo 3 and this is the most capable chat gpt model you can use either this 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 based on your need okay for now i'm using text davinci geo jo 3 model okay so let me copy this name and paste it in place of uh, here cool and let me write i uh, let me just you know print the response and if i click on run button then you can see it is asking what's your question what's your question type if done so here let me write a question write a program of hello world in c language in c okay cool now you can see the response returns this and here you can see under choices we have this text and this is our answer cool and it, it has some different uh, information like created i guess this is the time stamp then then id model name object and so on so what i need it i need uh, under choices i need this text right so let me delete it and here i will write choices correct and zero and here i will write text and just let me click on it again cool so let me write the message again write a program of hello world in c and let me just copy this and enter it gave me the solution cool see this is the program of uh, hello world in c language let me just change the program like write a program in c++ language let's see whether it's working fine or not it's perfectly fine it's like it's 100 percent right okay now the last question would be uh, write a program write a program to add to number in python cool oh sorry let me rewrite it again copy this paste it over here cool write a program write a program write a program let me just remove it oh, okay we cannot remove i believe write a program to add two numbers in python see this is perfectly fine perfectly correct also cool now what if if i try to do the same thing in chat gpt can i do it or not okay just copy the question i'll go here my chat gpt account chat gpt okay new chat okay let me just write the write the same question over here we'll see oh at a program to add two numbers so it is uh, like they have used the concept of uh, methods okay so like you know this is also correct and this is something similar this is something similar but you know not uh, exactly same but uh, yeah this is also the correct way to do okay what if if i try to uh, write it down again like if i if i ask the same question again we'll see whether it's it will it give the same approach or another approach yeah okay it is giving me the same approach 
okay so this is the way how we can use a chat chat gpt uh, not chat gpt a chatbot using chat gpt and python and if you i i hope like you have understood the concept and please subscribe to my channel and share with your friends so with you if you have understood this concept and thank you bye bye